so I normally don't make videos really around this time of day just because everybody's home and it's harder to get anything done and not have a bunch of interruptions as far as noise goes but oh, I'm going to work on a few things tonight yet hopefully let's get some things applied get some mowing done things are looking really good after those applications back here for the fertilizer so that's really kicked in now and you can definitely tell a difference I've let it get slightly taller and I'm gonna keep it like I said somewhere around the two inch mark if I can for the rest of the summer and then maybe go back to the real mowing later on. But for now I can't be out here every single day in like 90 degree heat real mowing with a manual real mower for as large of an area as this is. But it's looking good. This little spot right here looks like there's some recovery happening. There was some damage from me burning and letting that fertilizer sit in there for a few minutes, but there is some recovery. I'm seeing some green come back. Now there's one other spot here. This one, not so much. So I'll probably move a couple plugs into here sooner rather than later because I must have dropped some more fertilizer here when I was doing that. And this looks pretty toasted. So that was mowing with this thing at 1.75 at least according to where I have it set with these things. I was taking a look at the cut as well and surprisingly for being that low cut and on a rotary mower I got my blade sharp. It's very very clean actually. So for a rotary mower and cutting low not bad at all. There's a couple things people always ask me about what do I like the Honda, the Time Master better. And actually, I prefer the Time Master still at this point. I talked about this in a couple videos, but I can't get down low enough just because of that extra deck width that's not floating deck, it's a fixed deck. So I was having trouble getting down to even two inches with it and not scalping. So this I can actually get below that because you have a smaller deck size. And so there's a little more play there in terms of the bumps, but I definitely wish things were more level back here. It's just not a project at this point that I've been able to take on. So The other thing about it though is that I do like the personal pace system from Toro a little better than the drive system on the Honda. It's just a personal thing though. You can kind of go with whatever you'd like. Any of these mowers, this Honda, it's not one of the more expensive models of the Honda. It cuts great, so it's definitely an option for you. The Time Master now is just something that I've used for quite a few years. I've gotten used to that mower and just how great that it does cut, but with that striping system on here on the Honda, it does a great job too of adding some nice stripes. So that actually gives you kind of a different view here, a different time of the day where you can definitely see the shine of ryegrass and the just nice, beautiful, flat look here. Gotta love it. So it's nice to see things kind of looking better here, even though it has been really hot in the 90s for about five days. I'm really happy with the way that things have survived all that and are still looking really, really good at this point. Now, soil temperatures still aren't extremely high. I haven't went and checked them, but you know, hot weather is hot weather, but also you have to think about the soil temperature is really what comes into play in terms of your root system on your cool season grass and once that really gets up there during late summer by the time it's been hot for a long long time that's that's mainly when the grass struggles the most so we're not quite there yet So it's time to apply a couple more liquids out of my box today on my low cut turf. I do about every two weeks or so with a low dose of liquid fertilizer. Sometimes I use granular. I've been using that 818 um, that I just showed in the last video every once in a while on there. But usually during the summertime, 
about every two weeks I'm doing a low dose of liquid just depending on how things look how things are going obviously with weather and all that stuff but today I'm gonna be applying uh, some of this root hume it's a humic fulvic acid blend and then I'm going to put on some of this 1648 liquid fertilizer on top of that kind of let that sit in before we get to this cooler weather hopefully coming and also some more rain and it should be a good timing on it For my fertilizer, I just really like to spray with a backpack. You can do the hose end version and that's fine too, but I just prefer spraying with the backpack. So I'm gonna mix some of this up quick. Kind of in a race against time right now. Get this done before it gets dark. night to be spraying that was awesome so I really love spraying at night like that just the wind calms down here a lot and it's just a lot easier to deal with so now I'm gonna let this naturally hopefully get watered in that's my plan it's the reason why I was applying tonight before this rain that's supposed to come. If for some reason you weren't supposed to get any rain and you wanted to do that fertilizing, then let it sit on the leaf blades a little bit. And since it's nighttime, I would just do my normal watering around between 4 or 5 a.m., somewhere around there is usually when I start. Mm -hmm. 